I mean, it really doesn't take, it's not a, it's not a, a very high tech thing to do. All you've got to do is have another XLR and a mic and a stand, uh, no matter where you are in a small club or in a big venue. But talk back, Mike, if everybody's on in ears, say you want to change what song is coming up next from, or vary from the set list, or you want to tell uh, your monitor engineer that you're having a problem. Uh, with floor wedges, first of all, communicating with the band is going to be a very hard thing to make that change on the fly. You're going to have to run around like an imbecile and tell everybody individually, go to their spots and tell them what change you want to make. Or if you're having trouble with your instrument or for whatever reason you need to communicate something to the monitor engineer, um, it's only a talk back away and a sentence away from you getting your point across as opposed to having to walk off stage and tell them right. what problem you're having. Yeah, like so throw your drumstick at them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It, it keeps the violence to a minimum. Brad, have you ever had somebody throw something at you? I have. I, I knew it. I'm I not knew gonna it. Name Monitor the, engineers, God bless I'm not going to name the artist's name. Well, actually, two different artists have thrown things at me over the years. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, dude. And it's not that I'm doing a bad job. It's just that they're having a bad day. Yeah. As yeah. far as I'm concerned. Uh, get, get back on your topic. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I yeah. had to know that. I'm, I had to know it. On my show, we have a... Uh, six talkback mics on stage so almost every musician has their own because we're in arenas on a really big stage uh like david said you don't have to have that many if it's a small stage you might need just one or two uh we use microphones either with a switch where you can momentarily turn it on or some people just have a switch on the microphone um and it really helps like david said so a musician can talk to another musician um and in or, case anyone doesn't know talkback meaning uh, you know, a microphone that only people on stage are hearing that front of house right. does not hear. Right. That yeah. the audience does not hear. It's just, it's a private communication with those on stage and those involved. Exactly. In it's community. almost right. just like having walkie talkies between the people on stage so they can talk to each other in their in-ear monitors or a band member can talk to me and say, hey, could you turn up my guitar? But also we do a lot of communication with hand signals. I try to set up my monitor console where I can see everybody have a line of sight. So if David just needs a little bit more of the bass, David would just point at the bass player and go up. Yeah. So you don't always need to have a talkback mic, but you definitely should at least talk about some method of communicating with basic hand signals. And I've worked with artists before who we've had a whole playbook of hand signals too. Uh, where the artist didn't want to have to leave his downstage position to use a talkback mic, we would have all kinds of different hand signals from level changes to equalization changes. So, But even for a small band, without a monitor engineer, a talkback mic could be helpful just for talking to each other. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this.